Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be opening up another Funko Pop vinyl figure, this one from Nickelodeon's Rocco's Modern Life, number 321, Heifer. Now this is the limited edition uh, glow-in-the-dark chase figure. Uh, this is based on the uh, Halloween episode where Heifer and Rocco go trick-or-treating. So let's take a look at the box. Here in the back you can see you know, uh, Rocco's house and also the Fathead's house. That's actually their name, Fathead's. And they're constantly, you know, annoying Rocco. Or being annoyed by Rocco. It's more accurate, I guess. Heifer is uh, Rocco's best friend in the show. Uh, they go everywhere. First couple episodes, they went to the amusement park. They did a whole lot of stuff together. Basically in every episode, I think. Rocco's actually the one that broke it to Heifer or let the cat out of the bag that Heifer was adopted because his family is a bunch of wolves. So, apparently they were going to eat him, but they fell in love with him. With the lovable steer. So here he has his little horns and his little hair. Green for some reason. Uh, show had a uh, kind of Liberal take on reality, to say the least. Nice uh, green tail as well. Orange, yellow body. Orange mouth. These two little nostrils are not just drawn on, they are actually in there. So they're indent indented, they're molded onto the figure. Here on the eyes, we have one standard eye and one kind of twitchy eye. I think it was the same way on the standard figure. So it's just... Uh, same thing. Uh, the difference between this one and the other figure is the other figure he seems to have pasture puppies or something like that. Like a, a bag of potato chips or chips of some sort. And in this one he's got his little trick-or-treat bag. It says boo on it. And yes, he does have this drawn onto himself in the show. Now let's see. Turn? No turning. This head is uh, molded on where it is, so don't expect to actually turn his head any. Nice detail on the hands. Here he has his big uh, pumpkin drawing on him. And he's got a little boo here on his bag. Nice, uh, he's a suspenders kind of guy. Guess for a guy like him, uh, belts are kind of a tough one to come by. Especially a big guy like him. As you can see here, it's the other part of the suspenders. On the shoes, uh, there's not much distinction. It looks like it's just one solid, you know, pantsuit or something. Doesn't seem to be any any distinction. It's just solid red, bottom down. So he does glow in the dark. Uh, I think this glows, and I think this might glow as well. I'll try right now to see if I can get uh, the whole effect. Anyway, here's his little ears. Cool little figure. Let's see how he stands. Stands pretty well. Let's uh, zoom out. Let's check what he has in his bag, if he has anything in particular. Looks like they did draw in some, or, or you're molding some uh, uh, candy figures in there, if you can see. So you can see something like a candy bar, something like uh, little small pieces of candy, separate loose pieces, lollipops and stuff like that. Nice attention to detail. And there you have them. Put them down. Now, let me... Okay, guys. Uh, this is uh, glow-in-the-dark mode. As you can see, the bag glows in the dark, and so does his little uh, belly drawing here of the pumpkin. You turn them around, see if there's anything else that glows. Now, it looks like it's mainly the bag 
None of the, none of the inner contents and the uh, drawing on his belly. So. Anyway, there you have them from Rocco's Modern Life, number 321. Heifer. This is the limited edition chase figure that glows in the dark. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.